Hey, it's Joe, and this is my next project. These modern phones have great cameras in them, and this particular phone has a monster memory, but I can't get it to stick to the tripod. So I'm going to make a little rig, where uh, several of them, where I can mount the phones to the tripod. And also, I want to make a rig that will mount on the ceiling of my shop, where when I'm working, I can put the camera on this rig and it will pan around and move while I'm working. That way when you speed it up, it gets a really cool uh, panning. So here we are, I, I drew it all out and I cut it out, cut a few pieces out of wood. And look how good I am with the saw here, check it out. I think I'm making three of these things. Look how perfect those are. That's because I sanded them. Put a little uh, epoxy, and I'm gonna epoxy a nut into the base of this little holder here. And my hands get so dry, they feel like sandpaper. Wow, look, they are sandpaper. Anyway, we put it all together and I made three of them, and then I'm gonna make the camera rig. A few simple parts that I had laid around the shop. And there's the holder for the camera rig. I like to make things adjustable, that's why there's so many holes to be drilled. That way, no matter what I'm working on, I can adjust for height or circumference. And I'll show you in a minute how this is all mounted to the ceiling. There we go, it's all adjustable with wing nuts. I can pull the arm way out or I can get it close. I can put it up high or down low. That just simply goes in there with a bolt and a wing nut. And I can tighten the wing nut down and it'll hold it pretty steady and it swivels. And very, very professional. It does tend to bounce just a little bit so you have to hold it pretty still but it doesn't seem to bother it too much. If I were to do it again, I would make a stronger spindle in there. You can see the little spindle I used was pretty small, but it works okay. I made a big pulley out of MDF, a couple pieces of plywood, and I got it all screwed together. Then I screwed it to the ceiling, and I have a little Turn around. I have a fan belt that I made out of surgical tubing. You can buy that at any of the hardware stores. And you put it over the pulley. It's a little gear reduction that I have. Somebody turn the switch! And here we go. And that's real time right there. It takes this rig about one hour to pan all the way around. This is a little motor that I had. I don't know what it came off of. I just had it in my junk box. And a little 90 degree worm gear with a pulley on it. I have no idea where it came from. If you know, just leave a comment. And you can turn that surgical tubing. You can put it on the pulley the other way. Look back. Go back to the left. Come on. There we go. You can put it around the other way and it will pan around the other direction, which I do from time to time. 
let's give it a shot. Let's get down there and work on something. This is the first thing I did. I just kind of set a few things on the counter and uh, walked around just to see what it looked like. Looked like I had it aiming a little more on the work and uh, didn't get the whole picture so I had to back it up just a little bit. And if you put the work directly under the spindle is actually where you want it. That's where it works best. And there I get up there and flip the fan belt around and there it pans the other direction. And I've used this in a couple of different videos. The first thing I did was a jet pack and then I did a 63 split window Corvette part of that and uh, they turned out really well. Now come up. Oh, apparently I needed a brush. That's where I keep my brushes in a brush box. I don't remember what I needed to brush for. But apparently it was a necessity. Here we go working on the Corvette. I've got this thing speeded up what five times or something like that. 50 times. So it really works cool and it adds a lot of motion to the video I think as opposed to just being dead video on a tripod. So I'll try to include this in the videos. Yeah this jetpack it panned around it takes one hour to pan this around and that's quite a bit of camera time when you go to edit it but you can speed it up and it all works good. On to the next project. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, tell your friends and subscribe. It's important.